We're just a few weeks away from the release of Starfield, and I couldn't be more excited. One of its most interesting and important features is base building. In this video, we're going to go through all we know about base building in Starfield. When building an outpost in Starfield, you'll use what they call an outpost beacon via the scan mode when planet side. This acts as a base computer, marking the location for your desired base. The beacon does have a radius which designates where you can build, but it isn't clear if there will be varying sizes of the beacons. You can establish outposts on any planet, as long as there's no previous claims nearby. If you intend to build a mining base, it's important to find a resource rich planet via the system view. You can scan a planet to reveal these resources. When in scan mode for a given planet, you can see the resources are color coded, making it easier to pick a spot that has the most variation of resources. Notice the chlorine and iron. I do not notice any indication of resource concentration as long as you have the desired resource in the spot you select so you should be fine. When deploying your beacon in scan mode, it will confirm the resources available here. Once you've confirmed your spot, the UI will slightly change. Notice your outpost name, planet, and star system, respectively. You have a build limit which is self-explanatory. You can also see the cargo capacity of your base, the amount of crew you have, power requirement to run your base, and how much you produce from the base. We'll talk about these things in more detail shortly. Building your base features a free camera mode that allows you to place buildings with ease. Each fabrication will have required resources. I assume these resources will need to be on your ship or in a global inventory that is accessible no matter where you're located. Notice you need a ceiling to deploy the outpost airlock. I don't think it's a raw material like aluminum and lead, but you'll have to craft it. Raw material like aluminum and lead wouldn't need to be refined before used in base building. Notice some fabrications have variants to choose from. This will help further customize the look and feel of your base. Power management will also be essential. You'll need to pay attention to the amount of power your base requires based on the facilities built. So ensure you place enough power generation elements like solar panels. It seems that the player will have a few options in power generation utilities. Looking at the sample bases, you can see solar panels as well as wind turbines. To address the times when there is no sunlight or days when there is no wind, I suspect you will have even more options of power generation that consumes certain resources like reactors. Notice the military have. This suggests that you'll need to defend your base even when you're not there. You'll not only need to hire human security but also robotic ones as well. Notice the security mini bot at the bottom here. Also, under the skill called robotics under the tech tree, mentions autonomous turrets and robots. Once the habs and facilities have been placed, the player will then be able to go inside on foot to place the props or furniture by hand to further customize the base to their liking. Extractors can be set up to harvest resources available at your base. Once extracted, you can manufacture or craft items at your current base or you can set up cargo links between your bases to move raw materials to other bases. I believe this is why we see cargo ships land and take off in the gameplay reveal. I assume the amount of resources you extract periodically is indicated by the production per minute element here. This also suggests that you'll need to build enough cargo facility to allow your base to extract for a while without having to go there frequently. These raw resources can be harvested and can be used for research as well as crafting other items. To allow your base to run efficiently, you'll need to fill it with crew members. Each individual has background and traits. You can assign different crew members to tasks such as growing food, managing water, and collecting resources from the planet. Assigning the right crew to a certain station will further enhance the capability of that module. For example, hiring someone who is proficient in science can probably help speed up your research times. I believe within the science hub you'll be able to install a research station. There are multiple categories of what you can research, pharmacology, food and drink, outpost development, equipment, and weaponry. Notice there are available projects. There are tech trees behind these and you'll unlock more projects 
as you discover and research projects. Pharmacology will most likely allow you to research and craft medicines and possibly buffs for your character. Food and drink is self-explanatory. Outpost development will allow you to research outpost fabrications, also enhancements for your base like powerful power generators for your massive base. Equipment will most likely allow you to craft FPS, ship or possibly base utilities. And you may probably research and craft personal, ship and possibly base weapons in the weaponry category. This is what we know thus far about outpost and base building. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Starfield content. I'll see you on the next video.